Hey guys, welcome back to Vancouver uh, Drywallery Carpenter. So why are drywall hammers shaped like this? So the correct term for this is actually not drywall hammer. This is a lathing hatchet or a lathers hatchet. One of the first things you're going to notice about a lathers hatchet is that it has a rounded striking face. So the intention of the rounded striking face is for it to leave the drywall nail just ever so slightly indented into the drywall without damaging all the drywall around it. Um, that is easier said than done. Let's see what happens if I do one on camera first go. I'm probably gonna mash it, but let's try. I'm super out of practice and I'm probably gonna mash this. Oh, that one was actually not that bad. Okay, so that one wasn't too bad, but I mashed all the other ones when putting this little piece on the edge. I'm definitely a screw guy. But the next thing you might be wondering is, well, why does this one have a square face and this one has a round striking face? I believe the squared off edges of this is to make it more effective at getting into corners. Basically, I've got a wider striking face right here, whereas if it was round, I would have much less of it. So uh, this isn't gonna work too well because it's a little mock wall that's gonna bounce around, but hey, let's try it. And I did the totally wrong side to make it easy. But that's the general idea. That squared off striking face makes it easier. Should we try the round one real quick? Yeah, more or less the same, but I do feel like having more surface right here just makes it easier to actually hit the nail the closer it gets into that corner. And you do have to keep the nails pretty close into the corner uh, if you were cowboy enough to use nails, but you have to keep them pretty close into the corner so that your tape actually covers. That's the theory behind drywall nails is that as long as the tape covers, it's okay. But no, if you're mashing that paper into a blister, there's gonna be blisters under your tape too. Anyways, let's get back to the hammer because we've switched subjects. So before we get to this business end, you guys, one last feature on here is the nail puller. It does work. It's not the best, but it will pull out some small nails. Oh, uh. A regular hammer. Oh, a regular hammer was just as effective at pulling the head off that nail too. <laughs> but that's what it's for. Some of you guys that already know what this hammer is for might know what this is. Let's get this thing turned around and we'll get into what we're doing here. So finally, we are going to get into why this is called a lathing hatchet. So what I've done is I've mocked up some lath from lath and plaster. So this hatchet is a carryover from the old school lath and plaster days. Now you gotta think, when guys were installing those thousands and thousands and thousands of strips of lath, obviously they didn't have cordless circular saws back in the day, and setting this up on a table and cutting each piece with a saw would have been ridiculous. So I'm sure they also had much sharper hatchets than this one. This one's really dull, it hasn't been sharpened or anything. But basically, Instead of cutting it, it was a quick and then they'd carry on nailing it off with much smaller nails than this. I'm sure it was like one to set, boom. Anyways, that is what a lathers hatchet, that's what this business end here was for. Now, in this really old school video, I believe it's from the National Gypsum Association or something, back when they were doing gyp rock lath, rock lath, gypsum uh, lath, whatever you wanna call it, right? It's a really cool old video where this is coming from, but this guy actually has this so sharp that he can score and snap drywall with it. So it's clearly, again, a hangover from the old lath days. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure watching that. I mean, most of you guys have probably seen that like one minute condensed Instagram clip that somebody made, but it's actually a longer like nine minute video about installing gypsum lath and then how to plaster over top of it. I recommend watching it. I'm gonna link it in the description below. 
uh, it's a super cool video. It's kind of funny, 1950s. Like that guy who's doing all the installing with this thing is awesome. I love watching him. He clearly knows what he's been doing and doing it a long time. But anyways, that almost covers it. The real question though is why is this still a staple? I've even seen steel stud drywallers that actually still carry these around. And the uh, profession of steel stud is also often known as a lathing carpenter or a lather. It's still literally called a lather, but what they're actually doing is steel stud framing and then often installing board over top of that. And it's kind of weird that they still often use these hammers. The only practical use I've seen other than installing nails unwisely in my opinion, is occasionally your bevels maybe don't line up, like you're hanging a couple boards and it's tapered and you have a bit of a tight fit on one end. I've often just shoved this in there and been able to lift the board up. And you could do that with anything. You could do that with a glazier's bar or any kind of pry bar, but you know, you have this in your pocket to do it. Anyways, that is the lathers hatchet. That's as much as I know about it. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments about it. I definitely prefer this Vaughn one. I've never liked the S wing one because as you can see, the angle of the striking face is off angle. Now, maybe there's a reason for that that I don't understand. I'm sure there is. Maybe it makes it easier when you're getting up high. I have no idea. But I always liked this Vaughn one because it had a nice inline striking face. But this one's lighter and kind of feels nicer in a way. But I was just all, I would always bend nails over a little bit. Like instead of them going straight in, they would go a little bit off. So I never got used to this one. But there was no need for me to ever get used to them. I should have been using screws that whole time back then too. Anyways, that's it. That's officially all I know about the lathing hatchet. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you're doing well and I hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next one.